folks. Welcome to Set Apart Homestead. This is Travis here at the Prepared Homestead. We're putting some potatoes in the ground today. And so I'm going to do a simple teaching video on it. And I know a lot of you guys already know how to do this. Uh, and there's many, many ways to plant and grow potatoes. This is just one. This is more kind of the old fashioned traditional way, I guess, directly in the ground with mounds. I usually, uh, try about three or four different ways and kind of rotate at times each year just to see how much I can, the most I can get out of a plant. Um, but for right now, I'm going to just put some potatoes in the ground here. And the, t the ground is tilled up. It's pretty soft, which is important. Potatoes like a good soft soil. So if you're dealing with really hard, you know, packed soil, it's not going to, you know, not really going to do very good. Uh, but this is good soft soil. These are potato seeds. A potato seed is just a potato. It's not an actual seed. The difference is, is number one, um, there's not the chemicals or any type of genetically modified or anything like that. It's just a pure potato. And they're grown in a way that keeps them cleaner from like uh, bacteria or mold or parasites or anything like that. But any potato that you get at the store that has little eyes growing it, it'll grow a plant and usually will produce some potatoes, but sometimes they can get diseased or they just don't produce a lot. So it's always best to buy actual potato seeds. They're just grown differently. Now, <clears throat> you get them and they have the little eyes all over them, see? You don't need the entire potato for one plant. What I do, is I typically, depending on the size, so for something like this, I'm gonna quarter this potato. And I'm gonna cut it in a way, hopefully, that I can get at least one or two or more of those little eyes in each piece. So here we go, because those little eyes is where it's gonna start growing, like that. And let's see, let's do that. So there I've quartered it, and each one of those are going to be where I would plant, would plant. And depending on the size of the mound and everything, you might put two to four pieces in the ground. So I've kind of dug it out a little bit. I'm going to put two pieces in the ground, kind of like that. And then not only are you going to cover it, but you're going to build a mound. And that mound is where you're going to have all most of your potatoes growing in it. So mound it up around it. And this is where having good loose soil helps. Kind of, you don't want to pack it tight, but just enough at least that the, that the soil is kind of creating a little mound. And here in a, probably about a week and a half to two weeks, you're going to start seeing little sprouts of a potato plant popping out of that. Now, um, to know when to dig them, and I'll make another video of that later on in the summer, but the plants will get really big and a potato takes a lot of water. So especially when it gets hot and dry, you're gonna need to water it every day. It'll go to flower, it'll come up and grow, it'll go to flower. When it starts producing those flowers, that's when you're gonna get the little new potatoes. So if you're wanting new potatoes, start kind of checking then. So between the time that the flower starts and those flowers drop, that's when you're gonna get the new potato. If you're wanting your bigger potatoes, the more mature potatoes, you're gonna get that when the plant itself starts to kind of wilt and die. And that's when you're gonna get your bigger potatoes. So this is a real simple way. Uh, there's many other ways, growing them in straw, growing them in tires, stacks of tires, taking uh, farm fencing, uh, woven uh, wire fencing, make kind of a circle, fill it full of layers of straw, hay, dirt, compost, and on each layer put some of these pieces. There's lots of different ways. The more loose the soil is, usually the more potatoes you get. So if ever I'm planting in, a, in an area where the soil is pretty hard packed, lots of rocks, I usually don't directly plant them. But this soil is really loose on its own, uh, really good fertile soil, and there's hardly any rocks in it whatsoever. So I have a good feeling that I might get some pretty good 
results out of directly planting in the ground um, with these potatoes, but we'll see. I've got plenty of them, so I'll be uh, planting them in different ways around the farm, but I just wanted to show you this way. It's kind of your basic traditional way. Um, if you have no other way to plant a potato, all the new kind of ideas that you might see online, um, this way can work. Um, it's the it's the way people have been planting potatoes for forever. Um, but that's kind of how it works. And, you know, just remember, you don't need the entire potato in the ground. It's, it's okay to cut it like I did. Just make sure there's an eye, at least one on either piece. Um, and that's about it. Um, now, another thing you can do, what I do, is once you get them all planted, is take some good dead straw or hay or even grass clippings and kind of protect them uh, so that you know a lot of weeds doesn't get grown up and anything like that but that's about it so here later on this summer uh, hopefully we will have some potatoes all right thank you all for watching and i'll catch you in the next video